name it sounds like fruity hi guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is tuti and i talk a lot um okay what is my next video going to be about what am i going to talk about how can i inspire somebody and i didn't come up with anything like basic lessons i think they are called lessons <laughs> So the first one is that um, when you go somewhere, you need to realize that people have different personalities. People come from different backgrounds, etc, etc. And one example that I can give is I was on my side of the room on my own. And then there were four girls on the other side. And all of them were called Miriam. <laughs> one just of them were called Miriam. But one day, I don't even remember, they had come, one of them had come from showering and she was changing. So okay, the other one is like, Miriam, you wear a G-string. <laughs> like she made it such a big deal and for me i was like okay <laughs> and then another example is um a friend of mine and every time i was here i would greet her and say hi oh hi how are you then when we became friends she told me you know when you first started greeting greeting me anyhow i really thought that you were a weird person because i was like why does she always feel the need to greet me i don't know how i was brought up <laughs> another thing about a public institution is basically when you just tell people the school that she went to, if it sounds bougie or if it sounds expensive, they kind of look at you a different way and they're like, oh, okay, so you went to the school, easy schools where they spoon fed you and they did whatever, whatever. So I kind of felt like I had to prove myself all the time. Every time that anything was happening, I would think, ugh. So they're going to say, I'm doing this because I came from a private school. You know that I met mine there. <laughs> I haven't met him yet. But um, I mean this in terms of friends. I met two people. I met a lot of people at Unza. Great people. Love you guys. But I like to specifically speak on my sisters. Like from first year until now, these guys have really, I don't know why I'm clapping. These guys have really, really had my back. And Ethel and Nanji, love you guys. And uh, those are people who I literally just met five years ago. But I can't imagine a life without them. This is what you say. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So, and for one of them, she met her soulmate there too. So, university is a good place. If you're not busy going home over the weekend like I used to, you might just find your soulmate. If you don't communicate, you could destroy an entire empire, I swear. So, we used to be six of us, a squad. One of the guys... Um, okay. <laughs> he liked me and... I I'm sorry that I was oblivious to that fact. I had no idea. Because, um, I even had a list, like... I had a list that I made in 2013 of the perfect guy, the one for me. Yeah, and it just so happened that when I was reading it to him, apparently, my other male friend was telling me, no, when you're reading that list to him, he thought you were talking about him. He does check those boxes, so maybe. <laughs> so... There's a guy that liked me, and I was like, okay, whatever, let's see where this goes. And apparently, it really hurt him. And I had no idea why he wasn't talking. He didn't sit with us that day. When he heard he didn't sit with us, he didn't eat with us, he wasn't talking to us. And I was so oblivious to what was going on. But unfortunately, due to that situation, our squad broke up. And it's really sad. I guess just one tiny misunderstanding could make a beautiful friendship collapse. Like, we're all cool, all of us. But we're just not as close as we were before. We did our first assignment in sociology. That was my first assignment ever, and I got a C. And because everyone else got C pluses, <laughs> but then everyone was like, ah, "At least, oh, walaka, walaka, we're all right." Because everybody was in the same range. So basically, you need to put yourself in a place where you can grow. Is the lesson there? Um, that was bad. So I just wanted to let you know that I did notice that I had a, a thing. So something got stuck on my camera and that's the thing that is like around here in the rest of my video. Sorry, I'm competing with the sun. I don't want you to go down before I finish. <laughs> then of course you are not challenging yourself. You're going to be average. You're going to remain being average as I was at the time. Yeah. I had a friend that we went to, we were together from Chengelo and then we went to Shun. We started living together and everything was okay. Never live with your bestie. Like, your roommate should be somebody who you don't hang out with often. It goes back to communication as well. If you guys are communicating, there should be no reason why you should fall out the way that we did. So, I didn't even know that there was a problem, <laughs> to be honest. Maybe I'm very naive and oblivious. So, we went for this party one day, and when she got drunk enough to tell me, she was like, um, I'm moving out at the end of the week. What? <laughs> After, another friend of mine comes and says, ah. So you can't you just play? You haven't been studying. Your friend has been finding it hard to study, and that's why she's moving out. I was like, this. 
that's not what she told me so i asked her like dude and then i guess i could have picked a better time but then we argued and she said some mean stuff to me and i was like damn girl i didn't know you resented me so much you know like so from a perfect friendship and we lost her i love you so much um but we lost out on four years of friendship we should catch anything goes so we used to have development studies in this big lecture theater I, I, there's a day i just did this to myself and this crowd of people pushed me in i literally did not have to walk because people are pushing pushing really pushing to go to get inside and i'm just like no it was like mm. <laughs> i know like okay when i go to law school it was better even then most of some of the seats were broken so uh, you have to adapt you have to adapt in life the time they started having our lectures in the sports hall my gosh imagine let's that's an info for one hour you're just standing and the lecturer is very inaudible you can't hear him and you're like sorry we can't hear you sorry we can't hear you and then he says it's not my problem tell them to get a pa system oh my gosh if you've paid school fees huh? you have to adapt and then it was like a jungle you know there was a girl we were all doing this assignment that had been handed to the year before now i didn't know anybody from before so, but she had one and the person had got an a like 90 percent whatever so i was like man please look at that uh i have to ask the owner i don't know if she'll be comfortable and i learned that people talk too much oh my gosh no just living your own life or minding your own business is what i used to do like i think i got i could have graduated with two degrees from umza llb and minding your own business but girl would be minding my own business and people would be talking and i was like um okay so then i would hear stories like Eh, there's now one at two and the motor car cool in a number plate in a lemba to think combo. Okay, girl. <laughs> no, <laughs> but stuff like that. Sit us down and say, No, I heard you're talking about me. Nigga, I don't know you. Like, what? Be considerate of sensitive people. I'm, I'm one of those sensitive people, so I have to be considerate of us. What did I do? Um, we went from third year to fourth year. As soon as um, you start school, you have to register because the slots are limited. So I was telling my friend, my very good friend, and I was telling her, my black cousin, um, you should register early next year. Not what you like doing for taking long to register. And it, and the day went on, it finished. She sent me a book. She was like, you know what? Me, I know you. Like, I know you as a person. So I know that you didn't mean that. Like, you didn't mean to be malicious. You didn't mean to be whatever. But it was so insensitive for you to tell me that because it's not like people decide not to register early. People don't register early because they ain't got no money. Be sensitive and alive to other people's feelings, especially me, because I'm very sensitive. <laughs> There's only things that just occur for a season. And you have to be okay with it. They've served their purpose in your life, and it's time to let go. That's how it is. There's this boy that I used to like. My gosh. From before I went to Unza, from Chengelo. 2015 is when I just said no. Like, he was trash. We felt to agree on a lot of things. But it took me so long to just be like, it's okay. It's, okay. it's not meant to be. And I need to move on. I also asked my friend Ethel, like, what lessons would you say you had from Unza? And she says, sometimes you have friends, and then they're not your friends anymore. And that's okay. It's growth. It's okay to grow and to uh, let go of certain friendships. Ethel also said she wishes that she um, could have engaged in more extracurricular activities. So there were, like, moot court competitions. There was sporting. There were so many things. And I same WhatsApp group, Ethel and I. I also agree with her. So Ethel, I literally, she papooed me, she piggybacked me all throughout university. You know, the times when you're like, I have to read this case, my lord. And then she, <laughs> she'll just come with like a summarized version and like, my sister, it's me again. I wish I could go back and do things a lot differently. So an example I can give you is my friend's mom was telling her, after my dad had left Unza, he was a measure of coolness. So like on a scale of one to five, how many Garys is he? Like, you're like, but it's hard for me to make friends so i wish if i could go back that's definitely what i would do is make more friends so extracurricular activity make more friends the biggest thing that i learned from unza was that when there's a riot run away because tear gas is not your friend you have water coming out okay there are tears right tears coming out of your eyes <laughs> mucus coming out of your nose and you want to open your mouth to breathe but you can't because it's so painful and then i hope i didn't bore you so much for watching my video you guys she goes by tootie and the name it sounds like fruity she's so artistic when she smiles it's just like marching